In this video, we will take a look at running transactions within our new takeout mode. The first transaction we will run is an in-person transaction for takeout. As a cashier, we would click on our takeout mode and either sign in using the on-screen virtual keyboard, or we can swipe our Volante employee card to clock in. Once we're into our takeout mode, we'll go ahead and choose the items that the customer wishes to purchase. And one change between this and cashier mode is that we do not have to hit a total button. We simply accept a payment, which will fire the item to the kitchen, and we go ahead and complete our payment method. The only step I need to do at this point is to close the bill for that particular customer. If the customer wishes to have a receipt, I can choose to print the last receipt for the customer or have it print automatically depending on my configuration in my hardware. In our first example, we're looking at a receipt that is printed with our order number at the bottom of both the customer receipt on the left and the kitchen shit receipt on the right. You can also notice that at the top of the kitchen shit, it does flag this as a takeout order and does repeat the order number. The next type of transaction we'll do is a phone in order. In this case, a customer is over the phone and we'll go ahead and start the transaction in a similar way. We'll choose the items the customer would like to purchase. And instead of choosing a payment method at this time, I'll go ahead and choose the two tabs button. This will ask me to save the existing order and I'll go ahead and choose yes. Now I can enter the customer name for pickup or I can touch here to swipe in a credit card number. This person can provide a credit card over the phone or we can enter their name manually. So in this case, I'll enter their name. And then choose enter. An indication is now brought up that the transaction has been saved as a tab under Bob Smith. And I'll go ahead and choose okay. And it does bring me to my tab view screen where I can confirm that yes, Bob Smith has been added as a tab in our system and I'll choose exit. And now I'm back to a new transaction for takeout again. Once our customer Bob Smith comes to pick up his order, he will have to provide payment, but we will resume his transaction first. I'll choose the two tabs button again and find his transaction and hit the pencil icon in order to resume his transaction. At this point now, I can choose a payment method. Let's say cash and go ahead and enter. And now his transaction will be complete once I hit the close bill button. I can provide a receipt by hitting last receipt or by having the receipt automatically print based on my hardware settings. The last transaction we'll take a look at is running a takeout order from one of our customers entered in our customer database. I can go ahead and put in a customer to our order by swiping or tapping. And then the same flow will take place. I'll go ahead and choose items that the customer wishes to purchase. And then I will do a payment type. In this case, I'll choose on account. And as we can see, the order has turned from black to gray, indicating the item has been fired and accepted into a transaction. And I would simply choose to close my bill at this point. When we look at the receipts that are printed out when a customer is added into a transaction, we can see that the customer's name is reflected on both the customer receipt and the kitchen shit receipt. And we can also see the order number displayed at the bottom of both receipts. We can also note that the kitchen shit does print that this is a takeout order and it's flagged at the top as such. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.